Okay, so um, flowing from the revelations at Public Accounts Committee, we noticed that there are some discrepancies in the expenditure that was made by the ministry, particularly that of uh, the GBC and the amount we spent on food and accreditation for media houses. And so today, our mission here is very simple. We came to the Office of the Special Prosecution to open an investigation into what went into the $245 million uh, for the purposes of organizing the 13th All-African Games. So the, the content is to uh, invite the Office of the Special Prosecution to open an investigation into what went into the expenditure, particularly because we suspect that there are some companies that are close to persons who are politically exposed or the companies that, that belongs to uh, persons who are politically ex exposed. Also, we have noticed that there are some procurement breaches in, in the selection of the persons who uh, were given you know, the jobs to organize, first of all, the, 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 the All-African Games and also uh, in, in, you know, in, in selecting the companies for the broadcasting of the event and the, and the food and etc. So that is why we came today to uh, invite the office to investigate into what went into the $245 million that was used for the purposes of organizing the All-African Games. Clearly your demands are quite a number. How long do you expect the SP to do what you're asking of it? I think um, that every Ghanaian citizen is interested in accountability. And I want to believe that the office was set up for the purposes of ensuring expeditious accountability. And so I would not want to give them any ultimatum, but I know that they have the interest of the good people at heart and they must do what is right by their conscience and they must do what is right by the laws of this country. Um, to that end, I expect that they get back to us uh, as soon as possible so that we can be assured that they are interested in investigating this matter and bringing finality to it. I am very confident in the Office of the Special Prosecution. I think that we have a plethora of examples to cite about the competencies of the Office of the Special Prosecution and also the commitment and the patriotism demonstrated by the uh, Special Prosecutor himself, Kisia Jabin. Um, because we do know that the Special Prosecutor was appointed by this government but has been very instrumental in investigating matters of corruption in this particular ad administration. To this end, I'm very confident, highly so, that the Office of the Special Prosecution will discharge its lawful obligation to the good people of Ghana by investigating this matter and bringing accountability to the doorsteps of the Ghanaian people. So I think the Office of the Special Prosecution was set up for specific reasons. Uh, some of these reasons include acts of corruption, and matters relative to procurement breaches, etc., which will or which may invariably lead to acts of corruption. And, and I think that, you know, the, the state decided to set this up because of the expeditious nature with which we think they will be able to discharge that duty. And so, yes, even though there are some other investigative bodies, we found it expedient as Forum for Accountable Governance to petition the Office of the Special Prosecution because we think that it is an apolitical uh, office that will bring that uh, solution that we need and closure that we need to this matter. And that is why we chose the Office of the Special Prosecution. It doesn't mean that we will not explore other avenues for the purposes of investigating uh, this particular matter. We intend to also uh, petition Parliament to open an inquiry or a committee into the matter and investigate it properly so that Ghanaians will be confident and, and comfortable in the democracy that we have decided to experiment. My last question, at the end of the investigation, if the OSP says it found nothing untoward, that ends it for you? Well, I mean, to the extent that I, I told you that I have so much confidence in the office of the special prosecution, we are all law-abiding citizens, um, and so if investigations are conducted and properly so done, and the outcome is that there are no corruption-related uh, matters inherent in the organization of the All-African Games, I think the matter would have been uh, brought to bed. And so I would not uh, further query or ask questions about it. At least my conscience would be satisfied that I've done the law's duty for uh, the good people of this country. So I think the Office of the Special Prosecution was set up for specific reasons. Uh, some of these reasons include acts of corruption, 
and matters relative to procurement breaches, etc., which will or which may invariably lead to acts of corruption. And, and I think that you know the the state decided to set this up because of the expeditious nature with which we think they will be able to discharge that duty. And so yes, even though there are some other investigative bodies, we found it expedient as Forum for Accountable Governance to petition the Office of the Special Prosecution because we think that it is an apolitical uh, office that will bring that uh, solution that we need and closure that we need to this matter. And that is why we chose the Office of the Special Prosecution. It doesn't mean that we will not explore other avenues for the purposes of investigating uh, this particular matter. We intend to also uh, petition Parliament to open an inquiry or a committee into the matter and investigate it properly so that Ghanaians will be confident and, and comfortable in the democracy that we have decided to experiment. My last question, at the end of the investigation, if the OSP says it found nothing untoward, that ends it for you? Well, I mean, to the extent that I, I told you that I have so much confidence in the office of the special prosecution, we are all law-abiding citizens. Um, and so if investigations are conducted and properly so done, and the outcome is that there are no corruption-related uh, matters inherent in the organization of the All-African Games, I think the matter would have been uh, brought to bed. And so I would not uh, further query or ask questions about it. At least my conscience would be satisfied that I've done the law's duty for uh, the good people of this country.